Welcome back to the boat sheet. A viewer asked for a video on getting off the dock against a wind in a single engine boat. Now there are a couple of techniques for this and some are better than others depending on your type of boat. So we'll try to cover the best options for both yachts and boats with an inboard engine and also for single stern drives or outboards. Please let us know in the comments if you have an alternative cheat we'd like to share. We'd love to hear it. We'll start with a yacht or single inboard engine with a propeller in front of the rudder. This is a common situation we're looking at here where there are boats in front and behind and the breeze is pushing us onto the dock following Neptune's law which says that the elements will push you off the dock when you arrive and onto it when you leave. With crew, the conventional method is simply to spring off the dock using a bow cleat so we'll look at that first. The crew on the forward line should be briefed to only let go of the line when asked, to be quick about it and not to focus on keeping the line dry but rather to focus on getting it clear of the cleat and letting you know that it's clear so you can move the boat. Remove the springs and single up the breast lines ready to slip. If you already have your lines back on the boat, this just involves removing the turn around the dock cleat so the lines go straight back to the boat after passing under the horns of the cleat. Once your crew at the forward deck is ready to slip the line, set full helm towards the dock, remove the stern breast line and put the engine in forward idle. The forward thrust from the propeller, the tension in the spring line and the prop wash on the rudder will combine to move the stern out and away from the dock. Check there is no traffic to affect your manoeuvre, then call the crew to let go the line and immediately put the engine in neutral, then reverse the helm, then select idler stern. Let's see where that leaves us. Add power as necessary to avoid any obstacles and steer the boat well clear of the dock to give you time to turn and get steerage way on before being blown back towards the other boats. It's always safer to go close to the obstructions to windward to maximise your space to manoeuvre to leeward. The problem with this solution is that you end up with your stern into the wind, which might leave you needing a lot of room to get steerage way on and turn down the fairway depending on your boat. There is a cheat that makes this easier and it's particularly useful single-handed. This time we're going to leave just a stern line attached and for clarity I'm going to ignore all other lines. The cheat involves putting a short stern spring line around just the forwardmost horn of the cleat near the stern, not around the whole cleat. As you can see it's prone to slip off when it's like this but that's exactly what we want it to do. In order to make sure it doesn't snag all we're going to do is make sure that the transom goes past the cleat while it's still nice and close to the dock. So with all the other lines let go which can be done at a leisurely pace because the breeze is pushing you onto the dock. Put the engine in reverse and apply power as necessary to get the bow out far enough to be sure of clearing obstructions. In this position it might look as though you're okay, but the breeze will push the boat to starboard, so you're going to need a lot more room to manoeuvre before letting go. So just add power as required. Once you have enough room to manoeuvre, allowing for that drift downwind, you need to apply some helm away from the dock. It's really important though not to apply too much. Here the rudder is going to try and push the stern into the dock once we start manoeuvring forwards and that will stop the boat from turning. What is needed is some space between the back of the boat and the dock so that we can apply full rudder without hitting the dock so we need to start by having a bit less to give us that room. Now when we move the stern will want to move away from the dock slightly while the boat will still be turning to windward. Now select neutral, pause just long enough to protect the gearbox and then select forward gear and just a little above idle power. The boat will move away from the dock but the helm and the wind will result in the aft end of the boat scooting along the dock. If it's moving away from the dock without letting the spring line go slack, simply add more helm away from the dock and that will keep the transom running parallel with the dock. This makes the stern spring line go loose and it will simply slip off the end of the dock cleat as the back of the boat passes the cleat. Make sure you recover the spring line to avoid any risk of it getting close to the propeller, but it's usually possible to keep it short enough that it can't reach the propeller in any case. That cheat works really well on most boats, but some outboards and stern drives might get the engine uncomfortably close to the dock, and there's often a lot of debris there, so you might prefer not to use it in this case. 
The problem is that bow springs are less comfortable on this type of boat, particularly those with a high forward deck, which make crew feel vulnerable to falling in. This cheat lets you rig a forward spring, get off the dock without getting the prop anywhere near obstructions or floating debris, and with nobody on the forward deck while you're manoeuvring. Set fenders to protect the bow well forward. Then, while your other lines are still attached, and again, here they've been omitted for clarity, rig a bow spring to a suitable dock cleat, making sure there's a few feet clear forward of the chosen cleat, and remember to only put this spring around the horn facing the aft end of the boat. Attach a control line just a few inches away from the dock cleat, tying a clove hitch around just one leg of it. We do it around just one leg to avoid add adding any extra friction by pinching the spring line around the horn of the cleat. Take a turn around the cleat near the helm if you're single handing, or just get a crew member to tend it if you have any, but in this case don't take any turns, they can just hold it. Another cheat which helps here is to count the turns of the wheel you're going to need when you do the manoeuvre so that when you're performing it you can be confident that the steering is where you want it to be. So start by turning the wheel fully towards the dock. Then count the number of turns needed to get half to two thirds helm away from the dock. Having made a note of how many turns of the wheel you're going to need, in this case about three and three quarters, it's time to remove all but the forward spring line. Having prepared lines for recovery from on board, put the engine in forward idle while the helm is still in this half to two thirds away from the dock position and that will push the boat gently forwards and push the stern of the boat against the dock making line recovery much easier and safer. This works because the thrust line from the propeller is pointing aft of the cleat with the spring line attached. So if the stern does drift out, apply more helm away from the dock in order to correct this. The control line will go slack at this point. That's not a problem because the forward momentum of the boat will keep that spring line held securely into the dock cleat. Having removed all the lines, you're ready to go. Check there's no traffic to affect your manoeuvre and then still with forward idle power, turn fully towards the dock. The stern will move out and away from the dock under engine power. Once the stern is as far out as you can get it with the bow fended against the dock, held there by the engine, take up most of the slack in the control line and take a turn around the cleat. Then check you're clear behind and put the engine in neutral at the same time as you wind the helm the number of turns noted earlier. As soon as you reach the required helm, engage idle astern. The moment you start doing this, the breeze will start to blow the bow of the boat right along the dock and the stern drive boats rotate around a point well aft when going astern. So in idle astern and steering away from the dock, the bow spring will already be hanging loose before you've moved more than a foot or so. The control line will then pull the spring line off the horn of the cleat as you carry on in the turn. Remember not to turn too rapidly so the bow doesn't touch the dock. The slower the better works well at this point. Try to keep your propeller pointing roughly perpendicular to the dock and allow the wind to blow the bow across the space you've just left. When you've sufficient room from the dock, steer as required to get to the windward side of the space available so you have the maximum room to manoeuvre. Remember that with stern drives the bow will move left and right much more quickly than when you're going forwards if you're going astern. So it's a good idea to start that turn to line up with the fairway while you're going astern and then to waste no time in getting some forward way on to gain steerage, not forgetting of course to turn the wheel before engaging forward gear so you don't stop the momentum of the turn. If you have a cheat for doing this that we haven't discussed here, do add it to the comments below, we'd love to hear your ideas too. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to help us keep making videos like this. See you again soon, back on the boat sheet.